So here we have a pizza pie. Um, we have the crust, we have the cheese, we have the sauce, and we have a pepperoni that I already previously created for you. If you'd like to open your pizza and start here, you would open it at pizza pie one AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the pepperoni evenly spaced all the way around the circle and then divide your pie up and also create a mushroom and a tablecloth and a plate. I shape. So to do that, you want to make sure you have your smart guides on. Go up to view and you can see I have selected smart guides. So to place my pepperonis evenly around my pizza pie, I'm going to select the pepperoni. I am going to go over and select the rotate tool and go on over to the center of the pizza and click um, holding down the options key. So you hold down the options key and you click and this little window will open up. So hold option and click the window will open up and make sure you put in 45 and then select copy and you can see now we have another pizza pie. Um, and what I'm going to do now is select a command D or control D, command D if you're on a Mac and continue command D. Oops, sorry, made a little mistake here and command D all the way around until you have those pepperonis evenly around the pizza. You can also now, if you'd like to, select some of the pepperonis. Um, and I do the same thing, like you can select a Command or Control C and V and um, paste a couple more on there. You can even make them a little bit smaller if you'd like um, to make them different sizes. I think I'll make one more of this size by selecting Command C and Command V. Um, you see here we can move these guys over uh, to line them up if we want to. And now we have our pizza pie with our pepperonis. In this next topping, I just want to show you how to create something using the pencil tool. It's a real easy tool to use. Um, so uh, what I did was I first selected a gray color. I'm going to make a mushroom. Some people like mushrooms, some people don't. Um, but I just want to show you how to use this pencil tool. You grab the pencil tool and, um, sorry, you're going to grab the pencil tool and we have a fill here. And with the pencil tool, I am just going to draw, um, my mushroom shape. It has a little mushroom cap. We're going to come in this way. I'm going to go ahead and draw that little bottom part of my mushroom and then close it. Um, go ahead and select the fill and fill it up. And now I want the mushroom to look a little three dimensional. So to do that, I'm going to go up and select effect. And in the effect, I'm going to go to stylize and actually this stylize. And I'm going to select an inner glow, or you can maybe around the corners. Um, you really just need to experiment. I'm going to select this inner glow, and with the inner glow, I'm going to try multiply, and then we'll uh, maybe select it from the edge. And you can select preview so you can see what's going on here. I'm going to bring my opacity up a little bit. Um, and maybe overlay and there we have overlay looks better and then you can um, maybe I'm gonna go ahead and lower this a uh, little bit make the blur a little larger you see maybe at two inches um, see and you can see the difference between edge and center I like the top to be um, with a little bit of a glow and the edges to be darker so I'm gonna go ahead and make my opacity all the way up to 100% and my final is the blur at 0.2 and center and go ahead and select OK. And now I have my mushroom that I can then take and command C and command V and you can make several of them. You can rotate them by just grabbing the edge here, making them a little bit smaller if you like and command V all the way around and just kind of drop them in wherever you want the placement to be 
And um, I say command because I am on a Mac. If you are on a PC, you may use control. So command V or control V. And I'm going to go ahead and randomly change the sizes and place these around my pizza um, to fill them up. And so in using your pencil tool, you can draw different things. So you can practice using that and making the colors what you want them to be and put them around your pizza so that they're kind of spaced evenly. You can distort them by stretching them and doing all kinds of different things. Um, it's really simple to make a shape. And I think I want this little guy, so Command C, Command V, and just keep placing them around. There we go. And maybe one more, this medium size. And oops, I moved it um, in here. And, and then, okay, so now you can see I have a variety of these little mushrooms around and make sure you kind of turn them and, and move them. Um, if you're hovering over the top and you get the arc, that allows you to, to move them. And so now I'm really happy with that. I have mushrooms and I have pepperoni. And remember, um, we made shape tool and a brush here, and then we used the pencil tool on the mushroom. And remember, now that we have our pizza shape done, we wanna make sure that everything is grouped together. So I'm first gonna go up to object. I selected everything, object and expand appearance. So, so nothing moves out of shape and then select it again, all of it by um, taking my selection tool, drawing over the top of it and then object and group so nothing moves. And next video, I'm going to show you how to make the background with a plaid tablecloth and how to divide your pizza into sections.